So really quick, YouTube, they're about to make all three minute videos into shorts. So that's why it's three minutes. I'm going to be giving you about 30 seconds worth of information. So go to the end of the video and we can talk about exactly how to do it. I'm going to put a timestamp right in the description of this video. So that way you don't have to stare at me. You can just go to the end. Also, quick disclaimer, this is comedy and I would never suggest that someone keep profits away from massive corporations. Do not do this at home. Go into the description right here. It's going to say a time. I'm guessing it's going to be about two minutes. I'll probably start at about two minutes just so I have enough time to uh, lay this out for you. I also want to say that I know for a fact that this still works. It works for Visible and Verizon. Um, the only difference with like T-Mobile or Sprint is they're going to have a different um, two-digit two digit number towards the end. It's called a time-to-line number, TTL. So it's almost like hacking, but it's easy. I can do it. I'm not a computer whiz. I'm not nothing like that. All right, so we just hit the two minute mark. So I made a video two years ago explaining how to do this method. And you can just go to the comments, look through the comments. It works. It's one of the only ones that it's not going to be some Indian guy giving you some roundabout. There's nothing to buy. You just go into your command prompt, run as administrator, like I'll show in the video there. Yeah, um, there's ways to do it on Mac. But maybe go into ChatGPT, ask ChatGPT to take the prompt and turn it into Mac or find out what the TTL number is um, for Sprint, T-Mobile, whatever. But yeah, that's all I got. I'm going to put the video in this description right here, right underneath the little timestamp that I put for you guys. But I know for a fact that it's working right now. They can't patch it. They're not going to patch it. There's a lot, there's not really even a lot. There's a few comments that say that it didn't work for them. They typed it in wrong. They did something wrong. They're probably, they might not even be out of their data limit right now. That's probably why it's not working for them. But if you go through, I mean, click on these people's profiles. They're, they're real people and it's still working for them. Send this to a friend that uses a hotspot to do their schoolwork or work or games or whatever. If I did help you, if you need your Wi-Fi, you can't get it, or they're slowing you down and I save you a dollar, come back to this video, send me a dollar on Cash App, because your boy's broke.